I wanted to do a little video uh, about how I personally like to cleanse and clear my crystals. I've heard a lot of different techniques and different ways, but I personally go by the rule smoke or uh, other crystals. Those are my two ways to clear stones. So let's start with smoke. When I refer to smoke for clearing crystals, I'm talking about smudging. This is a little smudge set that I have. and. Smudging is a term that we, we use to describe the act of taking an incense and uh, lighting it to clear an area or a space of negative energy. So one of the most popular smudging tools is called sage. These are some sage examples. I got a sage bundle here going. Here's one that's almost dead. But this is white sage. I actually harvested this myself in San Diego, California. It grows a lot alongside the roads and, and things. But this is a great tool for clearing and cleansing your crystals, your environment, um, your thought space. It's really good just as an energetic clearer or a, a sort of thought clearer and energy scrubber, I like to say. So when we're clearing our crystals, uh, we want to get the smoke going to a nice thick plume. Get a nice thick plume going on your smoke. And the smoke is what is kind of acting as a clearing mechanism for your crystals. So here I have a, a lovely quartz crystal here. And this is how I sort of clear and cleanse uh, my crystal. I make sure I put a lot of focus and, and attention on the crystal itself. And I watch as the smoke comes and rises around it. And I see um, in my mind's eye whatever energies or, or heaviness that might be trapped in the crystal being cleansed and cleared by the sage smoke. Now, sage smoke is very heavy and um, it's a very acquired smell. It's, it's kind of strong. Some people don't seem to like it as much. So for an alternative to sage, I really like Palo Santo. This is a holy wood from the South Americas. I believe it's related to like frankincense and myrrh or something like that. And it's used in shamanic practices, cleansing and clearing negative energy, as well as sealing and protecting the area. So, Palo is more effective in the fact that it kind of leaves this sort of protection feeling, whereas sage is just a great cleanser and clearing, just clears everything out. And then you can burn something like frankincense and myrrh to get in a, a sort of protection sealant from the gods, whatever you believe energetically. But I, I personally like the Palo Santo wood. It has the most beautiful smell. And some of my friends are now etching really cool symbols on them, um, which I believe actually raise the vibrational energy of the wood. Uh, so that was about smudging. And it's very simple. You can even use frankincense and myrrh sage or other incenses that you like, uh, mixtures and, and things for energetic signatures to clear your crystals depending on how often you use them, how energetically heavy you feel they are, and realize that energy is neutral, completely neutral, and it's our thoughts and feelings about the energy that makes it heavy or negative or, or any way. It's, it's our mindfulness. So yes, please let me know what you think uh, and what you like to use, and have a beautiful, blessed, crystally crystal day.